Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. By the way, for those of you who don't know what I'm doing, I am uh, a Minecraft player who plays on Wincraft. It is a server. It's a big MMO, a big open world with a ton of stories and cool stuff. Um, you should definitely check it out. Look at that, there's a private there. Um, anyways, before we get started, make sure to hit like and subscribe um, and all that fun stuff. You guys are killing it. We're at 250 subscribers as of the making of this video, and let's get right into it. First, we start off with the barracks here north of lake gilia here in gavel and this place is amazing i love the entrance of all the places where there's supposed to be like military powers and stuff this place actually feels like it they have cannons they have catapults they have like a ton of cool army equipment just sitting around lying around and like look at this there's an archery tower and it looks cool they have archer towers just like in clash of clans um a ton of cool parkour stuff to mess around with like it's actually super super cool and look at that they got like little trampolines and stuff isn't that sick and they're functioning trampolines boing come on come on bounce me but yeah it's super super cool um it's part of one quest that's actually kind of cool where it's like this creature has infiltrated the barracks and is causing all, all kinds of chaos and it can transform into anyone it's a shapeshifter um, which is kind of cool and then the castle itself the, the barracks area itself is super cool this housing again uh this is one of the newer builds it's new um it has like the greens and the reds it's very nice contrast to the building uh, as well as the stone you see you have the green uh, you also have light very well like uh, meshed into the actual building it feels old it feels lived in and like the inside is also very well created it makes sense there's cool little passageways and a kitchen and a library and there's cool little places to explore around here and to just you know walk around there's people just chilling out and then there's a story over here i love my job so much i managed to convince Lescade to become a full-time bed bouncer one day I'll be the top of my craft in the world. I feel like I'm soaring, very extreme. Might not be to everyone, everyone's fancy though. So, like I said, it is like a really cool place because there's so much story, there's so much intrigue, and it is actually beautiful. And the story to it is pretty cool as well. So if you're ever just trying to explore and check out a cool place, I would definitely explore around this castle. Um, it definitely has a lot of cool little knickknacks to check out and the build quality itself as you can see even the tiny little houses are super super cool and there's a ton of people who have a lot to say i would definitely give it a watch um and with that i will leave this place here and we'll go on to our next one another one the coolest builds in windcraft has absolutely have to be the hidden city of eltom where uh hidden humans are hiding in this a villager area so gavel is run by villagers and eltom is a hidden sanctuary for humans um and it is a very cool hidden city in the mountains and this by the way is how you do mountains okay and how you do homing homes and mountains um we'll start off here at the edge of the city the houses here are pretty uh simple but they are very, very cool. They even have like accessory merchants and stuff that I've, I've actually never even seen this before. Um, but it's a very cute little town, very a little city here in the mountains. Um, and they have an airship. And as we come over here, you can see why this place is such an underrated place that not many people talk about. Um, at least not that I have really heard about. And I mean, just take a look at it. It looks absolutely stunning the airship is so imposing as well as the big tower that leads up to it they have an amazing uh little pond here that comes down from a river from the mountains and a cool little cave actually inside of the mountain itself it is absolutely beautiful the lily pads the reeds and then the shading on the mountain is done very very well you go from very very granular at the bottom and then it progressively gets darker as it gets to the top and more icy in a way right you have the item identifier here a beautiful building as well as the bank which obviously is the same colors looks great pretty much everywhere and then you continue around and it's just 
so much to look at there's so much intrigue like what is this over here I, I i don't even know what this is they have a little whoa a little thing to like bring yourself down up and down on uh it's an elevator oh that's obviously uh, things you bring yourself up and down on yeah so they have an elevator that looks super cool and it's like it, whenever they made this town it they thought it through like you would need an elevator you would need secret ways to leave and enter um, they have a scroll shop. They have a food merchant. Um, and it's very beautiful. And, and let's go up and check out the airship building. It's also super, super cool. Um, I believe the way is you have to go up here. Yes, look at this. Wow. Um, this place is, is very, very spectacular. I mean, look at this town. This, this, this is cool. I mean, just, just the way it's chilling in the mountains, right? Um, whoop. Um, and then if you go up the elevator, voila, beep beep beep. Here we are on top, and you can enter the airship, and then this is part of a whole quest line. But I mean, just take a look at the city from above. Um, it is super, super cool. And it's nobody really talks about it again. This place is here for one quest and one quest only and yet they it's built so well into its environment and it feels so like much like it, it belongs here, you know, I mean l look at this This is a place off the side and it's just such a beautiful pond and they have mountain goats and it just it fills in these mountains so well This is absolutely beautiful um, and many people don't even know know about this place, especially if you are early in the game You will have never seen this place because you can only get in here after you complete like a level 80 something quest And it's 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 crazy um, But yes, this is another one of the places that are underrated and let's go ahead and move on to one final place that I think is super underrated Wow, Levigar is beautiful if y'all haven't seen my top five most beautiful cities in Windcraft, this was definitely in it. I would definitely look at that. This is one, definitely one of the top five. With shaders, it looks amazing, man. Um, but that is not where I'm talking about because I don't think that's underrated. I think the actual and underrated place around these here parts is the river crossing and if you play windcraft you know what i'm talking about um if you play windcraft and you're above level like 50 you know what i'm talking about and that would be i think it's boosy <laughs> it sounds so funny to say uh but as you can see it's boosy or something like that there's a horse merchant here which is like very rare to find they're very uncommon to find a horse merchant um what's it called but this place it's made to be literally just a crossing right if you look on the map you just have a river and boosie is like the one place where you can really cross it without you know without skipping stones like you can up there um and it's it's a beautiful little town i think like i love the building it's just there's stone houses um the the texturing is done well the towers are done well the glass is like 3d-esque made um the bridge feels like it was something that was taken time and it was toiled over in order to build something very elegant very strong very well put together you know um they have stuff here for trading so like if a ship comes through um they can hey they can pick them up here there's fishing there's carp here it feels lived in look like they're drying fish here um i don't know why you would dry fish oh no it's a net that caught fish okay that's right. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to like make sense of it all. These buildings are super cool too. Of course, they have accessory merchants. It's a very cool, quaint town that has everything that you would need in it. But it's also very beautiful. It's very homely. Like a beautiful tree that it has here. A light tree. Um, and then there's these beautiful, beautiful waterfalls uh, at the entrance of the river here. So obviously you would never have to go through the bridge because you never come off the cliff of the waterfall here. It ends here at this uh, this kind of little lake here, the little entrance to the river. And it's so beautiful. I don't know why they even have this ship here because it doesn't really make sense in context of this, but it does add to the vibe and the whole town is kind of just lit up, right? It feels like a place that is constantly moving with action, people always moving around, there's so much trade, like 
probably everyone that works in this town doesn't even live here to be honest um because apart from like a few people because it seems like a place where you would just come to trade like a trading hub a lot like debtless um a lot like debtless is in the first uh in the main area of in the province of win it's really there mostly for trade it, although people do live there it's mostly there for trade so yes absolutely this is one of the coolest places in Windcraft. i love the flags it feels so mystical this gives me very elvish vibes again uh which i guess kind of makes sense it is near i guess it's not that near to alderay but it is near alderay um and it looks absolutely beautiful and the flower forest next to it i personally love flower forests so it definitely adds to the feel and the aesthetic um bit Busi is one of the buki uh, maybe i could say buki i don't know you guys let me know how to pronounce it i'm not sure um it definitely feels like exactly what it's meant to be and i think that's what i really love the most about windcraft is those places that are built exactly the way that they should be it gives you the feeling the aura of what it's supposed to be like they have a little tiny farm out the side of course because it's a little trading place a farmland it's out on good pasture so they have horses they have wheat they have hops that's another type of of farming stuff they have whatever that is um, but regardless, it is an absolutely beautiful city. Let me know what you guys think of it. This is the end of this video. I really enjoy making these videos because I love exploring towns like this. Let me know if there's any other places that I haven't necessarily mentioned that definitely need mentioning. Um, I definitely think this place is absolutely stunning. Definitely fits the vibe even at nighttime. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for liking and subscribing. As you guys have been, we hit 250. Uh, I really enjoy making these videos as, a, as much as I hope you guys enjoy watching them. I'm going to leave it off here. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye.